I'm going to use this piece of tulip to make the beading to go around. And I reckon if I rip it down in half each way, I get four out of one. So, 600ml. And I need one, two, and I can get two out of one length. So, one, two, three. So, I need six pieces. I'll cut eight just in case. So I'll cut this down at about 600 and 1200. So now I've got one square edge and they're ripped parallel. What I'll do is to put them through the planer so that they're planed all round. You know, I'll put them in that way and I'll put them in that way. So now the planed square all round. The idea of this is to try and not end up with a little piece that you've got to put through the plane on its edge because it'll lean over. You put little pieces through flat but not on the edge really. So what I'm going to do now is I need, where is it, uh, I need 20 by 10 this is 20 by 10 and these 45 so I'll rip them down the middle and then plane them on the edge to 20 mil What I've got there now is it's about 20 mil actually, fraction over about half a millimetre. So I'll put them through the planer and just take the fraction off. I'd prefer to have like a millimetre to take off. So like I said, they're just a fraction short of 20 mil now, but it'll be okay. So what I'll do now. Let's take two rippings off about 11 mil off either side. That'll give me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I need six, so I'll be okay. And then once I've cut them, I'll be able to put them to the planer flat and plane them down to 10 mil.
like I say, now I'll run them through the thicknesser, sawn side up, plane them down to 10mm. I put them through the planer a couple of times, just get them down to the thickness. You see how they're pretty straight now, and they should be pretty square. If you stand them all together, uh, this is half inch collet. You can get different size collets, but to be honest, it's easier just to buy one of these. They're only a few quid, and buy quarter inch bits to suit you to suit your insert bit here. A lot less fun in around. Little bits like this you can put on full speed. You don't need to reduce the speed or anything, just put it on full speed, you get a cleaner cut then. And I've removed a bit of the beading from the from the door so just to help me set it up. I've got my hose hooked up. This hose I use for me Domino, it does this, it's not very good for this. But the hoover that's down there is a power take off one. And I've got an extension so whatever I plug in there makes the hose go, makes the vacuum turn on. I'm just going to take this edge off, that will give me a little line that I can work to. Right, I've sanded them, they're nice and flat, cleaned up any glue, a little bit of residue but it's flat, doesn't matter. What's important, you sand this iris, this high sharp edge, sand that around. It's easier to sand it than when, when your bead's on, you don't end up scuffing your bead. So what I'm going to do is put a mitre on one end and then I'll mark this end. I'm right handed so I find it easier to work that way. And these, I'll cut one for each one with one mitre on one end. So this beading's got a nice flat on it. So I can cut this one upside down. Sometimes you can't do that, but also sometimes you can you can put two on top of each other like that. Don't always work, but sometimes that works. And I want a clean cut underneath, so I'm not going to go through it. I'm going to go up, if you know what I mean. I'll show. You. So the blade was cutting up. So I haven't moved the machine and I've got four of those, four of those with a mitre on one end. I'll do the short ones first because the bigger ones you can you can like spring in. 
but I'll lift this up, do it properly. But now I can put a pencil mark there. And because I cut my fence, I can put that pencil mark exactly to that mark or to that line on my fence and do the other mitre. I'll mark it properly then. And on this one I've got the face up now so I can cut straight through. I'm not bothered if it breaks out a bit of the back. So now that drops in. There's no movement either way, but you don't want it tight. I'll do this other end next. So now those two are in. I can cut this one. I don't want to sit it in like that, because you sort of get a false reading, if you can see. You want to put it up against it like that, and mark it just like you did the others. I'll put a pencil mark there. So, see, it feels a little tight. But, I can almost sit it in, but what I can do is spring it in, lift it up, put that end in. And I'll get that one done. So they're done, so I'll lift these, put some glue on. And I'm going to pin them in with this little edgeless spinner. It's okay, but it doesn't tell you when it runs out of nails, so you could be pinning away and you suddenly run out. They've got no head on them, and they're only little, so if you need to hold something down, try putting two in, you know, like a sort of dovetail shape. Pit straight pins will go straight in, straight out, but dovetail ones grip a little bit more. I don't think I need to do that. I'm just going to put them in at a slight angle. And when I take these out, just sit them where they're going to go. Don't put them to one side because you'll mix them up. All right, mess that now. block of wood just to get the corners in. Those pins are tiny, they're only holding until the glue goes off. I think I'm going to buy a new one of these one day, probably a boss touch. But it still works, and it's worked for a few years without any problems. Right, I don't have a jig for these hinges. What I've done is set that depth to the width of the leaf. No, just a little bit more. I just need to put a very thin piece of wood on the side there.
glue that in. It's a little tight at the moment, but once the glue's on, I can run the saw just on the inside there. Just take a fraction off. So I'm just using my hinge to wind it in there. Leave the super glue to go off for a while and clean it up. So they're both now finished. I cleaned this up, this little jig. So that fits nicely in there. But Easter's got in the way to fit these, so uh, sorry, I'll get it to you as soon as I can. And hopefully they'll fit nicely. Better than twisted ones. <laughs> 